Hello and welcome to the Quick Schools Report Card Module Basic Quick Guide for School Administrators. In this video, we'll be showing you how to activate the Report Card Module, create new report cards, then manage and eventually publish them to the parent and student portals. This quick guide will introduce you to some of the core features of the Report Card Module. Once we're finished, you'll be primed to dive into the next more advanced tutorial, but for now, let's start by going to the Features page to activate and configure the Report Card Module. To activate the Report Cards feature, check the checkbox in the Report Cards row. You'll see that the Report Card tab now appears in the top menu bar. Now that you have enabled the feature, let's click Configure to set it up. The Report Cards feature is heavily coupled with the Gradebook feature. First you want to go to the Gradebook section and turn on the Gradebook for all your teachers. Then make sure that all parents and students will have access to view the Gradebook in their portals. Below that in the Report Cards section, You'll want to add users who will be able to configure report cards, submit grades on behalf of other teachers, and finally, those who will print the final report cards for the school. By default, the school administrator is automatically selected for these options, and that's who we're going to use for this example. Scroll down and click Save to register your changes in the system. Now let's go to the Report Cards module and start creating report cards. When the time comes to create a new report card for your school, go to the Setup Report Card section and click the Create New link. You will now need to create a new report card session. Quick Schools treats each report card session as an event, so if your school prints report cards twice a term, you will have two report card sessions. For example, a midterm report session and an end of term report session. Enter in the name of your report session. For this example, let's create a special end of term report. Enter a date for this report session. This could be the date when the report cards are supposed to go out. Now select the semester and year of the report session. If you have report cards you have customized in the past that you'd like to reuse, use this drop-down to copy the format from previous report sessions into this new session. In this case, let's copy the previous fall semester end of term report card setup to our new report session to keep our report cards consistent. Reusing customized templates can be a real time saver. Clicking OK will save your selections and return you to the main Setup Report Cards page, where you can see your new report session is now open and currently active. What that means is that all teachers can now go to the Report Cards module and start entering the report card details into each student's report card. Once the report cards are filled out and there are no further edits to be made, you will want to lock the report card session. Let's show you how. Click the Manage link and you will open up a list of all your current and previous report sessions along with their lock status clearly displayed. When you lock a report card, it will no longer be editable and all your information from that moment on will be frozen. Locking the report session tells Quick Schools that the session is now complete. Locking the session will also automatically publish the report cards to the parent and student portals. Parents and students can now log into their own accounts and view and download their report cards. Simply click the PDF link next to the report session you want to view to open up a PDF copy of that session's report card. We hope you enjoyed this chapter of our quick guide. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact us by either using the live chat bubble in the bottom right of your screen or emailing us at support at quickschools.com.